Okay, guys. Livia Tan sent me this uh, scan tool. Uh, sorry for the reflection. Uh, to do a review on it. Now, this is a OBD2 and CAN uh, scanner. And uh, the good thing about this scanner is, uh, and it's unique for this guy, uh, I have the IM. IM stands for Inspection Monitors. And that IM button, when you press it, it tells you on the screen what is ready and what is not ready for the emission stay inspection. Now, the lights uh, next to it, uh, when you connect the scanner to a car, if that tri triangle uh, yellow, light come, yellow light come on, means uh, someone was in there in the computer and erased your codes. And the red light, it means it's a DTC present, it's a diagnostic trouble code present, and the ring check mark, which is that guy there, uh, it will be uh, the car is ready for the stay inspection. Um, the other thing about this scanner, and it's very good, is you can retrieve uh, manufacturer specific codes. You can have uh, data, you uh, can see data. Uh, I will not say live because live data is uh, when you go actually to the sensor and put an oscilloscope on it, that will be live. And the data that you see in any scanner, it will be data process. Okay, so the other thing it comes with the CD ROM, um, Windows 7, Windows Vista, and Windows XP. Uh, the other thing I, I think I said before it can retrieve manufacturer specific codes, so that is good to know. And uh, When you say manufacturer specific code, that means uh, it's a specific for, uh, unique for your car, that that code. And you should stru uh, start troubleshooting that code first, the manufacturer specific. The genetic codes, it can be any codes. Uh, the genetic codes, it will be in any car, will be the same codes for the related with the emissions. Now guys, uh, the next test I am gonna do with this uh, scan tool will be plug and play. Um, the part number is AL319 and uh, like I say, put it in the car, plug and play and see what it does, okay? A review for Autel or Autel AL319. I'm gonna connect this guy here. Sorry for the shaking on the camera and the OBD2 connector. Now immediately that you connect the scanner, as you can know, the switch is off. And if you got power and the OBD2 connector, this, the scanner reader, it will turn on immediately. Okay? Okay, like I said, the, the switch is still not in the ignition. Now I'm gonna now the car is on turn the okay and then we're gonna press the enter 
and as you see immediately this car is can you see the check mark turn on immediately that means the car is ready for a stay inspection if the triangle light turns on means somebody being in here and erase the coat and is the red light turns on you got a DTC a coat and memory in your computer and uh, over here because he don't got no coats I gonna select read coat or store coats and no core are stored in the module then pending coats permanent coats and it ain't gonna be nothing there because it doesn't have one let's go to a previous menu and go to live data And then you want to complete data set. You want to see it all. And press enter. No DTC present. You see diagnostic trouble code. Continuous. Zero. And then you scroll down. Let me show you something. The temperature and the coolant temperature sensor is 21 degrees. It's very cold over here. Um, let me show you something very cool here. This is the short filtering numbers, long uh, filtering numbers, and the RPMs. You see this? It say RPMs there. And he got zero. I'm gonna start the car. That number will change. That's my RPMs right there. You see the short term fuel trims number that change. This thing is very important, guys. When you got auto sensor uh, problems and uh, filtering number problems, uh, vehicle speed, the speed sensor, uh, when the car is uh, in the expressway or are, are in the city, you can see that number changing. Mass air flow, TPS. When I accelerate it, you see the number changing. So that is a good feature from this uh, scanner. Now the IM, this guy here, IM, you press that button only for see if your car passed the stay inspection and it will give you another screen. Uh, we go into that later, but let me escape out of this and show you something very good about this scanner which is the view freeze frame data okay <clears throat> because this car don't have a coat a DTC present it will not be a freeze frame data a store but if in if the car have a DTC this freeze frame data is when the coat being set up this take like a picture in the computer and and it will tell you at what condition the car was triggering that DTC and you're wondering why when you go to a places that they say they will not clear the code for you is because of this guy it makes the 
guy, the technician, is gonna fix your car. Difficult to fix if somebody being in there and erase that frame, uh, freeze frame data. It make it more difficult. Let me escape out of this. And then we're gonna press this guy. And that's the another screen. I press the IM inspection monitor, and this car is all green. Okay, it means you can take it to the state inspection, it will pass the emission test. When you got a uh, red uh, X next to the heater or the EGR or the EVAP, the car is not ready yet. To do the stay inspection and that's unique from this uh, guy now let's say you're taking a trip with your family and and you are in, in, in the expressway and the check engine light goes on and and you want to be safe I mean you want to know what is that and uh, if you got this kind of a scanner and your glove and your glove box you will know immediately what that coat is and if uh, if it takes immediately uh, to take care of the trouble coat or you can wait you know you can know you know by uh, by the coat that you have well this got to take care immediately or this coat can wait until we get back from vacation. This is a good tool to have. Another thing I want to apologize to Livia Tan because I take so long to do a review in this scanner. She sent me this scanner and uh, this is a good scanner to have. Is a, uh, you know, it, it, let's say you want to do a stay inspection in your car and uh, you can put it in your steering wheel here, uh, hanging here. And let's say I'm gonna turn this guy off. I turn the car off. Um, I'm gonna exit, you see, when I turn it off, it's no access to the, so we got link error. When you got link error in the, in the car, is not running that's the message that you're gonna i mean when the emission switch is enough that's the message you're gonna gain from the scanner so um immediately when you put it on and you uh want to know if your car passes the inspection just press that guy there and they bang completely all right guys thank you for watching